which is the Intercontinental Hotel Group's flagship hotel in Glasgow because this is a multi-billion pound hotel chain that still refuses to pay for staff transport home after midnight. One of our members was sexually assaulted walking home three months ago because this company promised that they would pay for a taxi home and they didn't deliver on that promise. So we are here to send a message to one of the biggest hotel groups in the country. The bare minimum that you should be doing is paying for transport home, paying the real living wage of £10 an hour, and get rid of zero hour contracts. In some cases, they are being paid £6.50 an hour, and they're not even getting the hours that they need to live. A company like IHG can afford to pay for the transport of the workers that make them their profits. During the pandemic, they still made £660 million. Even though their hotels were shut, they chose to make 95% of the workforce in there redundant. What do we want? Save home! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Save home! When do we want it? Now! When the 2012 Olympics took place in London, they were selected as the hotel chain of choice. And as part of that, they signed the United Nations Global Compact. The United Nations Global Compact says they must respect the rights of workers to organise and bargain collectively. Have they done that? No, they haven't. They signed an agreement with Unite saying that we could have access to all their hotels to talk to workers. Have they honoured that? No, they haven't. They promised during the Olympics to become the first company in the hotel sector to pay the living wage. This was 10 years ago. Do they pay the living wage? No, they don't. We need companies like IHG to realise that workers' safety extends out of the workplace and it entails us to taxis home. Hey, hey, IHG, get your workers home for free. Hey, hey, IHG, get your workers home for free. Hey.